trekking. It's not just a channel, it's an adventure. So get your boots on and come with us. It's worth the journey, exploring your local landscape, breathing the air this ancient land has to offer. So let's go. Welcome to Keep Trekking. Welcome back if that's been a four. Today I'm starting my wee trek here in the wee village of Balsa Stone in South Yorkshire. St Mary's Church, I've covered that before. Also covered these stones here. It's where the village gets its name from. Balsa Stone. And the stocks. It used to be further across the village. Over there. That's the village hall. Today we're having a wee trek around the Udin Valley. I do love it when these footpaths run through private land because at least you know it's going to be lovely maintained but look at that garden wow how big is that <laughs> but I do love it beautiful path that runs down side of their land Just on New Mill Bank at the moment. Nice road, steep road that runs down to as uh, Udin Valley itself. Uh, we're going down to two reservoirs, Udin and Brumhead. It's a lovely steep road this. It's even stiff when you're walking back up it. <laughs>
just walking on Pheasant Lane. I'm going to be passing some brand new properties. Absolutely beautiful, stunning properties are built. It's the last time I was down here. So, oh, I hope I can get out because you used to be able to get out at the end of here. So I'm hoping they're still on the uh, public footpath that you used to be able to go on. You should have, if you've got out of Barton. Wow. What a little gorgeous, gorgeous place. Looks like they're using an old railway carriage. Use it as a bit of a outer shed there. Ah, so gorgeous properties. It's just hope the public footpath is still in existence. It's like an old um, snowplow. What's with that garden? What a stunning day. See which way the public footpath takes me. Over there, I should imagine. Right, complaint time. They've not honoured the public footpath. They've bogged it up, put gates across, no entry. Can't get over it, can't get round it. But it still shows on the maps this down's a public footpath. Pull it right away. So I'm to go back to the main road and back down to the reservoir and then back through the bottom side of Yulden village rather than cutting across to it. <sighs> Part of parcel of trekking. But I don't know how they've got away with that. Never ate it. Footpath had to be enclosed. I'd have come down that path there in front of these beautiful place. That's only just been built. Stunning property. New village. Rumed Reservoir, it's like its neighbour further down the uh, Yudin Valley at Moor Hall. It was planned in the late 19th century. The city of Sheffield had a cholera outbreak and they needed fresh water. So they decided to build two reservoirs, but it didn't take completion until 1913. But because of the disruption of the First World War, 1914 to 1918, this wasn't complete, started to complete until 1920. In the 1930s it was finished. It holds over 100 million gallons of water. Absolutely beautiful location and stunning resi. Massive. It was right around that corner. 100 million gallons. That's a lot of water.
just uh, after leaving the woods just coming back out to Yule Tree Lane if you follow this road on the carry on brings you up to Mortimer Road and you can either go back to Langsit if you turn let's have a look if you turn left at the top you'll go to both Bradfield and the Strines if you turn right you'll go to Langsit or Midup that was one sketchy path you've got to watch your footing if you're coming through this top side of uh, Brumhead Reservoir it can be very sketchy but today it's very very dry apart from one part as you've probably seen, just seen on the video <clears throat> apart from that it's not been a bad trail must be the first time I walked through there and it's not either been raining or snowing or really seriously sketchy but not today it's probably a full path straight across that's where I'm going Somewhere around here, there's supposed to be a Neolithic burial site. Somewhere over that direction, I believe. But nobody can tell me where about it is or any history of it. All that we know, it is there somewhere. Somebody must really know where it is. If anybody knows any information on that, please drop us a comment. Because me and Phil's been looking for it for years, really, a couple of years anyway. And we've never found it. We can't even find the location. Nobody can seem to tell us. All we do know, it's over here. That direction. Somewhere. If anybody knows, drop us a comments in the comments below. Be much appreciated. bit beyond medic that one I think poor wee fella So this is yew trees, lame wood, just up from Yewden Valley bottom. Some right streets to see in here, like a welcome bench. How nice is that? But I'm heading uphill that way, up to Ards the top side near the trick point at high flats near Bolsa Stone. Thank you. 
we're on Heads Lane, walking back towards Bolster Stone, just passing Walder's Egg down there in the bottom, and Walder's Egg Farm, which we've just come up and come up through. It's been about three and a half miles this one. It's been absolutely beautiful, it's been a gorgeous day. That was a hard slog coming up that banking from bottom to top, and now it's all flat. And I'll just go and see my ma before I get back to the car. Looking down to our Stocksbridge, that's the very, very top of Stocksbridge, that's the rugby fields. And then looking across the banking is Unshelf Bank, where I've done a video in the past. Beautiful up there. And just the other side of there, you can see Barnsley. Look across towards Huddersfield, Wakefield, and possibly on a good day, across towards Leeds. That's quite a far distance away. There's a pan round. At the very top of that hill, you've got the trig point at the heights. Here we are, back at the start, back outside the church of St Mary's here in Bolsa Stone. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. J Art, keep trekking. Trek on. Till next time. Just uh, one stunning, stunning village.